everybody, Matt here, back for another TTRP. That's the Transformers Talk Raw podcast on YouTube and Spotify. If you haven't heard, you can join us on our Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. There you can chat bots with us, share your own channels or pages, whatever you like. The other links below are going to lead you to our coffee, our Spotify, and our Twitter. There you can follow us, take us with you on the go, or even leave us a tip if you'd like. But I thank you guys for joining me today. We're going to be talking about something I have talked about in the past, but this is going to be a new addition for this year. I'm going to try to do one of these a year. And it's going to be my top 10. Well, I'm going to try and do one of these for every uh, new tr Transformer toy line that gets released. It's going to be my top 10 most wanted figures I want to see in Transformers Legacy. But without further ado, I'm going to get right on with my list, guys, starting from least to greatest. But all of these I'd really love to see in Legacy or, or eventually in the Transformers line or the main line. And my number 10 is going to be the Beast Wars Antagony, the exclusive. Uh, you know, we already have the Inferno mold that's coming in Legacy. And I'm sure they're going to do Antagony 2, but that's not been confirmed yet. And I'd really like to see her. I believe it is a female character. I don't know much about the character. I just know it looks very cool. And uh, it was a BotCon exclusive originally. It's a very hard figure to get, the original one. So I'd like to see a new rendition of that character. And I do apologize for not knowing a whole lot about that character. I know it's a, <laughs> I know it's a vicious Predacon. <laughs> that's pretty much all I know. But number nine, I do know a lot about, and that's the G1 Nightbeat. And I'd like to see a new version of Nightbeat. I had Nightbeat as a kid. Uh, loved that figure. I don't think the deluxe we got a few years back or a good while back now is sufficient at all for such a great character. It's the only Transformer detective, uh, and that, and that was his function that, that it was out there. And I think it's such a great character. It was featured heavily in IDW. And I think he, uh, deserves a new, a, a good solid, either new deluxe or a Voyager. And of course, bring back that headmaster feature. And I don't think that would be hard for them to do at all. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to see Nightbeat. Just, he's always been one of my favorites. Me and my brother both had, my younger brother both had him originally. My number eight is going to be the Quintesson Scientist. Yeah. And that, that's one there that I think that they could do, you know, because I would rather a prosecutor, a full fledged deluxe or Voyager prosecutor, but there's guys that are going to argue or say that uh, we already got a prosecutor. We got that little two inch or three inch PVC figure that came with the, Pit of Judgment box set, which wasn't exclusive, and I don't think that figure was very satisfactory. But uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say the Quint Scientist, and and that was a figure I, I used to own a couple of the Impossible Toys versions, and they it's a really neat design. I'd love to have more varieties of Quintesson, and I think that's something Hasbro could tap into. Uh, my number seven is going to be Quick Strike from Beast Wars. Uh, you know we haven't gotten Quick Strike or any other version of Quick Strike, except the original release. And that was way back in the 90s. And uh, he was a major character in Season 2 and 3 of Beast Wars, a major supporting character for the Predacons, one of Megatron's uh, trusted loyalists. And he, he wasn't that loyal, but, I mean, he was steadfast, ever-present in the Predacon ranks in the last two seasons of the Beast Wars. So I think he's too major of a character to just not forget and and for legacy it's really the perfect time to honor such a great character as quick strike and that is my number seven my number six is going to be one that uh it's kind of all-encompassing and that's monstructor or the g1 uh pretender monsters decepticon pretender monsters uh, i think that this is a good opportunity to do him in legacy and of course it's long overdue to see a version of monstructor but whether you could release these guys individually, maybe make them each core class or make them each deluxe class, or you could release them as a box set or some kind of exclusive set, that would be great to see too. Although I think Titan class would be the wrong way to go with Monstructor. I think he's supposed to be a smaller gestalt, but uh, that is my number six. My number five is going to be the Beast Wars Tiger Hawk. Such a cool design, such a neat, neat character as an emissary of the Vok people and as a guardian of the time stream and an integral part of uh, beast wars season three i'd love to see a version of him we know that we're getting the beast wars transmetal 2 megatron as a leader class very soon tiger hawk to me is a next logical step we got an optimal optimus a few years back in the power of the primes and so i think tiger hawk would be the next uh 
logical step and a great place to do it again for legacy. And I think all of these would fit very well in legacy. My number four really needs an updated figure, a, a larger figure, and that's going to be the Beast Machines Tank Or. Beast Machines Tank Or is a uh, was a major character in that series, and uh, and and whether we agree or not about what they where they took for the character of Rhinox, and I don't agree with where they they brought that character. I don't think it fit Rhinox's character to make him Tank Or at all. It was very out of character. I mean, it was the most diehard Maximal there were, but that's another discussion altogether. The figure of Tank War really needs an upgrade because the last one we got was kind of a dinky deluxe in Generations, and I don't think that's... He's really never received an appropriately sized figure. I mean, it should have always been a leader class, at least to me. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Tank War is one that I think really needs an upgrade. My, number th the, the, my next three are all of them are going to be my... I would love and kill to see these guys actually get new versions in the main line. But my number three is going to be the G1 Needle Nose. Long, long overdue. We got Scoop a few years back. We got uh, many, many Target Masters. Uh, I think Needle Nose would be it. We even got Spinister, one of his direct contemporaries. So Needle Nose is long overdue. And, and a good G1, solid G1 Decepticon. Uh, my number two is going to be Sunstorm. And I think he'd be so easy to do. Um, they just reused the Starscream mold and, and re, uh, the Earthrise Starscream mold, gave him new hands and, and modified him minor, in minor ways and put him back out. So I think they could take that mold and give us a Sunstorm for Legacy. I don't see what's stopping them at all. You know, Obviously, he'd be an exclusive. That's fine. You can make him Gen Selects if you'd like. But I would kill for an actual Sunstorm. But lastly, my number one. I think it's only fitting because we just got uh, a Star Saber would be Death Source, um, and they could easily do it. I, I wish that if they did do it, it wouldn't be HasLab, but it probably would be. But I really feel that the next Commander class could be Death Source, and they could do that very easily. Um, but let me know down below what you guys think of my list. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What would your list be? What are your, some of your figures you'd like to see in Legacy? I thank you guys so much for listening. I'm going to be back on Monday with another specific subject, and I'll uh, make it a little bit longer, too. I'm a little bit beat from work, but I sure love uh, talking to you guys and joining you all and being a part of this community. And uh, God bless you guys to all or one. I'll see you soon.